What's going on, Vig Gamers? It's the Vig Player here, and we're back with Year 3 with a Year 3 weapon. Who would have guessed it? The How Dare You, the, the Year 3 Vanguard Hand Cannon. Um, and uh, let's get it started with the stats. So uh, this is a fast rate of fire, low impact hand cannon. Um, it, it's 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 not my it's not my favorite archetype, and we'll get more into that a little bit later. But uh, but it, it, it's it's not bad. I'm I'm sure I'm sure some people really like this archetype. I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure. Most people like a little bit more impact though. Um, let's just move on to the range and the stability, which are both kind of lacking. Um, in this uh in this build. So, so I could probably have better perks on the gun, uh, but but the range and stability they're still doable. They're still they still work, and the reload in the magazine are are really nice as well. So uh, I guess that's that's something good to come out of that. And uh, let's just start it off with the scopes. Um, the scopes, as I say, pick the one that you want. It, it kind of tells you what they do. So if you want to get a, a little hint of what what's going to happen when you put on a certain scope. Just read it, um, and, and, and then you should be good. But let's just move on to the first actual perk. It's Mulligan. So Mulligan is a great, great perk. Missing a shot has a chance to reload uh, a round directly into the clip. Mulligan is great. I love that perk. It, it, wor it works best for snipers, but uh, for hand cannons, it's going to work uh, quite nicely as well. And then uh, moving on to the other... Uh, like. The other perk that you can uh, choose from uh, would be Icarus. Uh, improved accuracy while in the air with a hand cannon, though, because they already have a, a, a pretty good amount of accuracy in the air. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. That Icarus is up to you. I don't, I don't use it, but it might be good. And then uh, moving on to the middle section of perks, uh, Hammer Forged. Some more ranged, uh, more ranged, but but more range. Um, not not a lot but a little bit more but for the purposes of this video I'm using explosive rounds I don't know why I you know I, for me it would be I I would go with either one either range or explosive rounds uh, they're, they're both really good uh, but but uh, I've, but for the purposes of the vi this video I'm going with explosive rounds I don't know why um, I just I just chose that one and then the last perk right there was luck in the chamber you guys all know oh, about that one and then uh, right now, I'm showing you that this hand cannon, this particular roll on the hand cannon, you can go and buy this roll on this hand cannon directly from the Vanguard Quartermaster. So you don't have to wonder, you know, oh, how do I get this roll or, you know, something like that with this hand cannon. Well, you could just go directly to the Vanguard Quartermaster and then uh, you can uh, buy this thing and, and test it yourself. And uh, let's get... Let's get straight to the question, guys. Uh, is this gun good? And um, although, <laughs> although there, there, there's a lot of other guardians out there that are a lot better than me and who could 100% hit all of the shots every time and every shot is a headshot and I'm just trash. Um, even, even, even though, even though that's a factor, even though somebody's like really, really good at the game and they, they can hit all the shots every time, uh, I'm, I, I still have to say that this gun really isn't that great. It's, I, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think, I don't think a lot of, uh, the hardcore players are going to be going with, uh, this gun only because of the low impact that it kind of has, um, the, the stats on it, like the range and the stability, are pretty low as well. So those are like another another factor to to uh, to um, to go into. But I think the main factor would be the impact. I mean, um, sure, sure, it's a really fast hand cannon, and um, and I'm and I'm pretty sure you know some somebody's gonna be able to go off with this thing. But uh, but from from what I see, a lot of uh, a lot of hardcore PvP players they go for something with a little bit more uh, impact so that they can have a more reliable uh, uh, three shot kill and uh, and you know obviously if it has luck in the chamber they, they want to get a two shot kill you know they want that two headshot and the luck in the chamber uh, activation you know and kill you. So something more like an IS Luna impact would probably be uh, what what most people are going to be going for. Um, but I mean, 
all that being said, this is still not a bad hand cannon. Um, but it, but it, it, it's more for something that I switch to when I don't, you know, when I don't get somebody, uh, when I don't completely kill somebody with uh, either my sniper or my fusion rifle. You know, th that's that's kind of what this uh, this hand cannon is. It's more like a, a switch to real fast kind of gun and spam as many shots as I can. Um, and, and and because because my aim my aim's off. Let's let's just you know let, let's just uh, agree that I I'm terrible. And my aim is completely off, 100%. So I kind of like having the, I kind of like being able to just spam all of my bullets into it. But um, I, I, I do feel like uh, it's 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 really not the best gun, uh, for for for, for slaying purposes. I don't think it's the best gun for slaying purposes. Um, I, I definitely wish I, I would uh, I would have something with a little bit more higher impact, but. That being said, it's still not all in all that bad. It's 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 an okay hand cannon, and um, and I I, I think you guys should uh, should pick it up and give it a test run, and then see for yourselves, and uh, and then and then come back here and then disagree with me or whatever whatever it is that you're typing in the thingy right now. Maybe you're probably not typing anything, honestly. But but that's what I have to say about this gun, guys, and I hope you guys agree because. This one, it's a fun gun. It's a fun gun, even though I, like, I did pretty bad with it. Uh, it took me, it took me a long time to get this gameplay. So I played a lot. I, you know, I practiced up with it a lot, and, and it, it just doesn't compare. And that's why it's getting an okay. You know, it's an okay gun, but it's not a good gun. You know, I wouldn't say it's a good gun. And that's, and that's why I'm giving it that review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and I, and I probably messed up a million times and, uh, and I probably said a bunch of wrong things this whole time. And, and, and you know what? Um, as time goes, if you're new here, as time goes, you, you'll just, you'll just figure it out. But, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Come back again for another one. This has been the Vigil Player and I'm out. Peace. ammo on the way. They never saw it coming. Their dignity is yours. Only five minutes left. Heavy ammo available. No one shares the glory on that one, Guardian. Lost the lead. Excellent retreat. 
behind the glory is yours gained the lead Them. They never saw it coming. Their dignity is yours. One minute. Her honor is shattered. Double kill. Thirty seconds remaining. Glory is yours. You've got ten seconds. You took their honor, Guardian. Splendid. 